Okay, so I haven't been here in quite a while, maybe almost a year. I've been afraid to. I got a dentist appointment coming up and I decided to take a different way home. The way home that I'm taking is a way that I haven't been out here in quite a while because I always had panic and I just started the recording right at the area where it usually hits me the hardest but I'm doing pretty good. Um, I am about seven miles away from the house. Um, I think going back is a little easier because the streets, at least what I'm on right now, kind of turn into almost freeways. It's 50 miles an hour. There's no way to turn around in. But because I'm heading home, there's no reason for me to want to turn around. So I'm kind of using it to my advantage because if I were to freak out and panic right now, I wouldn't want to go that way. I want to go home, you know, and so far so good. I'm in a catch 22 because sometimes I'm afraid to see how far I can go out because I know if I panic and I need to turn around, I'm at the point where I'm at the farthest from my house when I do decide to turn around. That right now I'm doing great because I had already went to the dentist, was which was maybe a mile up the road before I started recording. And I'm like, you know what? I haven't been to this part of this city in a long time. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it. And guess what? I did it. But anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling great. You know, I'm challenging myself. I'm not really challenging myself because I want to. I'm doing it because I have to, but there's still a gain in there. I'm still gaining, um, you know, ground. Because after this dentist appointment, you know, I'm hoping to God that, you know, I don't panic on that day or have any, you know, anything bad happen. I'm going to start including that in my driving area. That's my new bubble, my new brick wall, you know, whatever you want to call it. And the same thing happened if you saw my older video. I think it's called Very Important Doctor's Appointment or whatever it was. I was all worked up. I was freaking out. And then when the day come, I, ha I had the anxiety. It was pretty bad and everything, but it wasn't horrible. And before I knew it, it was just a memory. Well, guess what? I can still go to that doctor's office right now because I had to practice for so long. Now I don't want to let it go. I don't want my area to shrink. I want to expand it. And this is one of those ways that I have to, you know, do that. You have an appointment, whether it's for social security disability, whether it's to see a doctor, whatever the case might be, I want to hold on to this. And this person waits for me to get a green light. Man, these people coming out of the casino, I tell you. Definitely don't want to get into a car accident, crazy person. Got to keep a G, you know, on this channel. But yeah, you know, I mean, I would say I'm probably about halfway home now. When I pass this uh, Cleveland Roxino, I know that, uh, you know, home is very close. So, you know, I mean, that's where I'm at right now. Um, haven't done an anxiety video in quite a while. Been focusing on just trying to have fun with my son. You never know how much time you have on this earth with your kids. I could get into a car accident right now while filming this. So, you know, I want to spend every minute that I can with my son. But I also know, you know, my daughters, but my daughters are teenagers. They're, they're not home. Um, you know, they got lives just like I did when I was a teenager. But um, I'd really like to be able to get a PlayStation 4 and play with my son. You know, I mean, he's a big time gamer. And, you know, I'll play games and stuff on my phone. I'm agoraphobic. I ain't going anywhere. Oh, man, I love Walmart. It's the only place you can go where you don't comb your hair and you can wear your pajamas and nobody will judge you.